You heard the man. Yes. Would you invest now that it's $40? My investing style isn't for everyone and it's aggressive, but for me yes I would. Yes or no W old Y U buy it? Mother effer do you listen? I love that. They are so used to people dodging questions that he was ready with a yes or no. Before even realizing he straight up answered his question. And he expertly qualified his answer too. The guy is a class act. Have you gone back to the beginning of his post history? It's. Well, just go look. It's incredible how he handled the naysayers. The guy basically interrupted DFE the moment he said yes to ask him yes or no. Just let the man speak. It's no wonder he was talking so fast. It would have been even funnier if he clapped back with a little more sass and responded sir I just said yes. Bill Heisinger is a effing idiot, but there was probably some delay on the call. DFE's response was effing perfect, though. He basically said that this is not financial advice lol. He's probably the only person on this sub who is his own wife's boyfriend. Definitely agree, he was concise and professional. Much more than we can say for Mr. when I was a boy growing up in Bulgaria. Funny how they snap at DFV to answer yes or no so quickly but let Vlad run out his time. That's the sort of crap that ought to be countered and shown light on, immediately. Demand action from the court or whoever's proctoring. They want that MSM sound clip they can chop out those two seconds of him saying yes I would so they can falsely play it back months from now when they forgot what context it was in. Nah it's the opposite. He definitely wanted him to say no he wouldn't buy at that price. It's why he moved on so quickly from it because DFE effing flexed on him and gave an answer he wasn't prepared for. He wanted so bad to swivel and talk crap when DFE said no that he literally didn't hedge his bets to plan if DFE said yes. Not taking proper risk assessment has been a theme of hedge funds, brokers, and Congress members in this GME situation. That's how these stupid hearings are no matter what the context. Each congressperson steamrolls questions to try to get their soundbite that they can use to further their own agenda. They're rarely prepared for the alternate follow-up question because they have one game plan and a limited amount of time. So it's on to the next soundbite attempt. The real problem is time. Each committee member had five minutes to try and ask questions and get answers that's not nearly enough time to actually try and get to the root of the problem. It would have been much better with a panel of, say, eight committee members. Have two rounds of questions, 30 minutes per panelist, and I expect you'd get some much better questions, and therefore, answers. Ike, a lot of those senators were asking completely bullcrap questions that were clearly designed to waste the entire five minutes getting a soundbite that sounds like a gotcha moment. But DFV would give them answers that made their aha gotcha look stupid because no one was got, so they just get angry at him. So childish but these are our leaders. At least half or more of them were paying attention and acting in good faith. There were a few Congress members that were asking good questions but right as they started to get into it, that's when their time would be up. Which is exactly why Vlad started off every answer by thanking them and fluffing his answers up with bullcrap. By the time he finished answering once or twice it was basically time's up. Up yeah. The condescending smirk on his face was irritating. Yeah by getting him to admit he wouldn't buy at 45 he's basically getting him to admit that he doesn't think the stock is actually valuable and he just saw an opportunity to pump it and make quick money. You are right. That's why he was prob advised to qualify, then an abridged qualification. Might be being a little too charitable here, but I think lag might have caused the overlap. So a politician is interviewing a non-politician on live TV and isn't even waiting for DFV to finish before rejecting DFV's answer? Honestly I hope you're right. It would show that he's a biased juror. Not rejecting, but hadn't heard the yes before pushing for the yes slash no again. It just seemed a strange thing to ask given DFV had already said yes. It seemed strange because at no point was DFE not talking, so shouting over him to reiterate a question he was already answering was rude and clearly grandstanding. But when Vlad avoids every yes or no question nobody bats a effing eye. When will boomers learn that the new generations are so retarded that our opportunities are endless? Have you read The Intelligent Investor? It's allegedly the best book on investing, period. 
but so far it said a lot about 7%, bonds and nothing at all about getting into GME at about $12 and watching it go to $500. Book too much reading for ape, gorilla. They don't get it. At some point they will be too old to care for themselves. Do they think we are going to treat them kindly for robbing every other generation? Debts will come due. There are boomers that have stolen from us and have dried up our economy. These are the worst of the crop and deserve the nail in the coffin. However, there are boomers like our parents and parents who have been effed over by these know-it-all heartless boomers that continue to steal and deceive the public through media manipulation. It's time we take the stand of all stands and transfer the wealth and knowledge back to the people. Back to the 99%. Hold the line, gemstone, palms up together, gorilla. I wonder if one day we will be blamed for creating a meme economy that leaves our grandchildren tendiless. If we do, it will be through ignorance, not avarice. I've been hearing crap from boomers all my life about millennials being trash, after getting crap on by either their greed or mistakes. If there's anything I know, it's that we need to invest in and be cool with generations younger than us to break the trend. We're meant to invest in our futures and children, not steal from them. This is how the human race wins. I think so, yes. We have been without compassion for an entire generation. Maybe our society has become hyper-individualistic? But we've lost the idea that life improves when society improves. I don't know. We've lost compassion in our leadership, if it ever was there. Maybe this will put it better, in my opinion the best speech of all time. YouTube link. Holy crap. I've somehow never come across that. You're right it very well may be the best speech I've ever heard. It is the resonance of my heart. And through tears, as he listened to Chaplin speak to the musical swell of Zimmer, he had a vision, a knightly order set against the darkness in man, the predatory, the unloving, and unworthy the order of the diamond hand, a charitable order set to acquire wealth, yet living within relatively modest means an effort to use that extra leverage to help his fellow human at every opportunity until the day leverage is a term in history books, an order set to conserve and multiply the resources on this rock for future generations. Do I want a boat? Sure. But I love the sea, and wish to stand on a deck that is truly mine. Do I need a large vessel that requires a crew? No. Not until such time that said vessel will allow me to further our species in harmony with the rock we all ride together with all these excellent plants and critters that are companions and sometimes food. My hope is we can navigate a way through these current rocks, together. It's nice to know you and others like us are out there in the dark, use the Rajanotes, Gemstone, Raised Fist, Reddit Link. Count me a disciple in the order of the diamond hand. Correction, leaves other grandchildren tendulous. Our grandchildren will be swimming in tendies because of the decisions their retarded grandparents made. AKA us sending this bitch to Andromeda, rocket. We will leave our children with more tendies than they can count. But first we will teach our children to not be greedy and to care for others. Basically to be ape, gorilla. However, there are boomers like our parents and parents who have been effed over by these know-it-all heartless boomers you mean the ones that diamond hand at the housing market into a perpetual bubble and still expect to sell for over market value? Yeah, love them but F them too. Yeah, we too broke for that. Most expensive thing my grandpa owned was probably his clothes. I'm about to say, my dad is 100%, part of the problem, despite being one of the worst investors I've ever known. He always makes the worst choices in politics and investing, and still has a spoiled rich kid attitude despite us being lower middle class for a long time now. Boomers are without a doubt the worst generation in modern history. You know, diamond handing in a housing market could also just be called liking where you live and not complaining about your rising housing valuation. Also, what's a perpetual bubble? The whole point of bubbles is that they pop. Boomer Reparations I don't know. My parents kind of did all right from the hedge funds with their pensions. They voted with their ethics but they passively allowed a lot to happen in their name. Don't get me wrong, I love them but they're not really engaged like we are. But then we've so much information it's no wonder it made us autists. I totally I understand. Boomer let a lot slide by. We are of a different breed. We don't take any bullcrap, but that's also because we have access to an infinite amount of information. $2,000 or bust baby. 
100k minimum for 2k for AMC. If AMC hits 2k I'll lick your butthole. Boomers are the first generation in history to actively steal from their children instead of trying to give them a better life. F them. Bingo. God, look how badly boomers are treating their effing parents right now. Letting them die for the economy, coving up their debts, and relegating them to some of the most inhumane senior housing in the world. Boomers will be lucky if we don't use them as test subjects for Mars missions. We are all graduates of the University of Retardation. I only had my bachelor's but since I've joined WSB and Reddit Apes I've gotten my master's, Gorilla. Weboized Autism My favorite kind of autism. Um excuse me good sir, tell me what to do with my boomer money. That's the problem, boomers don't learn. What's incredible is that they were trying to trap him, and instead gave him a huge platform to preach his wisdom to millions more apes. The SEC should investigate the politicians for trying to manipulate the price downwards. What were they hoping to get out of him anyway? Something like yes, your honor, a bunch of rich investors and inside traders reached out to me, an unemployed peasant living in a small town, trying to get the ends meet, with a proposal to manipulate markets and make billions of dollars to switch hands over, what is commonly though of, a dying business business model that sells video games and video games accessories. Yes, that's video games. What's that? Oh yes, a retail store. I would first like to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to answer that question, since it's a great question. When I was a kitten, growing up in Bulgaria. Yes or no? I caught that too. He was stunned by the answer so he re-asked again. Left him speechless because he wasn't expecting that answer. He's probably pounding his head now wondering why he didn't buy. It's so much worse. He's probably getting pounded by his wife's boyfriend. And he's such a dick because DFE already said yes before he interrupted him. Question 2. Where did you grow up? I admit to. Always improving. Yes or Bulgaria? Ah ha 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 ha. Coincidentally I'm a Bulgarian, we good people overall, smiley face, smiley face, just so you know. You did good in exporting the one bad one. Ah ha 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 am also exported, USA, good one or would like to think that, smiley face, smiley face. LOL this was my favorite line right here. Ha 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 you will always get a reply with yes or no alone. Meow? When I was a young warthog. Can someone please tell the origin of this I was a boy growing up in Bulgaria thing please, I keep seeing it on this sub but no idea the backstory about it. Blah the hedgy sucking douche canoe said that is an answer to a yes or no question. It was actually not even asked of him he had it in his opening statement. Ha ha ha. You're correct, but in an answer he referenced it again. He kept circling back to it. He just started the answer to every question with some long anecdote to eat up the allotted time and not answer the actual question. Yup. He wanted us to all know he was poor. Lol. Like mofo the middle class and below is the working poor. Lol. Vlad Tenev answered a question at the congressional hearings three weeks ago by starting with that sentence. Along with many other times he just ran out the time without answering. This was very common with most of the witnesses. Except DFE of course. Out of debt, out of danger. Vlad Tenev, the CEO of Robinhood in the first Congress hearing, at one particular moment, when asked something, he evaded the answer with some bullcrap about his childhood in Bulgaria. So what Congress has taught the whole country is that we can do whatever we want to if we can just run out the clock before answering questions. They should have compelled a direct answer. May the power of court compel you. During the first GameStop congressional hearing, it was Vlad Tanov's favorite answer. Are you a cat? I assure you I'm not really a cat. Hang in there. Dude was just trying to get a stock pick. All the stuff they get insider info on has been bleeding since then lol. Lol yeah, when I listened the interview, 
The folks in suites were talking about insider info as if that crap is handed out on street corners for everyone to grab. You got to find better corners. This one girl only charged $20 for insider info. Didn't he drop like 50k into the stock in 2019? Not quite peasant money. It isn't peasant money, and he didn't just immediately turn a profit, but going from $50,000 to $40 million I mean, holy crap, if I could turn $1,000 into $800,000 that would be effing swell. I get that, my point was if he is able to hold 50k, plus, in that account he seemed to be fairly well off. But definitely peasantry compared to the hedgies. Think of DFV as the Bowery King from John Wick. King of the peasants. On WSV's 50k is basically the price for entry. To many it is nothing because they'll gain and lose it in days. DFV is a seasoned investor and built up his portfolio. Nothing wrong with that. Me and my 2000 pounds, sweeting when it went down to 400 pounds. I knew some of the bigger boys and girls here were holding bigger bags and taking in my opinion ridiculous losses. I just want my bank balance to be at least 10,000 pounds lol. Right there with you. My wife and I started with $3,000 to invest. We've got a good amount in savings now but I am unwilling to place more than that at a time right now. I wish I could have had $50,000 to invest into GME because that would have been amazing. Don't put into the market what you can't afford to lose. Oh I fully get that. Which is what boggles my mind people out there have 10k plus to play with. My 2000 pounds was my initial play, vacation money, COVID equals no holiday so it goes on stonks, I was tempted to go into my emergency fund at one point but glad I didn't as my boiler packed up and that just cost me 2.3 thousand pounds to replace, carbon monoxide leak, so had to be done. Part of me is tempted to paper hand because I'd get some profits and basically cover my boiler but FOMO. We're all peasants here, compared to multi-billionaires who actually can and do manipulate the market, even if you had couple mills tucked away somewhere, those are lunch money, at best, to hedgehogs. I have 50k as well, more than that actually, and my entire life savings won't even fuel up some of these yachts. So yeah, I stand up by what I said, peasants. The epic part? It's the peasants who make hedgehogs cry now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.